In this video, we're going to have a look at buttons and how to get around our database without using this top toolbar. Now, I know the toolbar's here and all the buttons work, but I have one of these rules that says when I design a database, everything inside the screen should be able to take care of everything in the database. So if I need to make a new record or if I need to move backwards and forwards, and later on, if I need to search for somebody, I, I would like buttons and even a menu to figure out how to do all this stuff rather than going to this toolbar. So let's get going with making simple forward and backward buttons. We're gonna to go to the edit layout. In the top row, you can see we've got a bunch of tools over here. The one I'm gonna to go to is the one that says button. I'm gonna click on it and I'm simply gonna draw a small square like this. I'm going to type in the word next inside and I'm not going to worry too much about the color or font. We can deal with that later. And where it says action, if I click on it, it asks me, do you want to do a single step or perform a script? Now to quickly explain this, a single step is basically replacing a button that's already in FileMaker. So next record, new record or search. That's a single step. Now a perform script action here, that means we're going to write a number of steps. So that's not a single step, but a number of steps. And we're going to deal with that in a future video. So we don't have to worry about that now. Let's go to single step over here. And immediately it pops up a window saying, what is that step you want to do? In this case, I want this button to send us to the next record, basically so that we can browse all of the records that we've got. Now, I know where I'm going in this menu over here because we've got all the different types of steps that you can take. Now, if you're not sure where to look in this, because there are quite a few words in this menu over here, what we can do is just type in a word that you do know. So I know I want to go to the next record. And these are all the steps that include the word record. So let's go and look for the one that we want. We want to go to record. So let's click on that one, double click it and it's saying go to record and it's saying first. Well, we want to go to the next one. So that's pretty cool. Press OK to that. And we can close that down. And so we have a next button. That's the going to the next record. Now let's do the same thing. Let's make another button like this. This one I'm going to call previous, but I'll use the abbreviation like that. Again, we're going to do a single step like this. We're going to go to record. So that's go to record. Now I'm kind of memorizing that it's in navigation. We go to record. And in this case, we don't want to go to the next. We want to go to the previous. And we'll press OK to that. Close that down. I'm just going to move that over here like this. I'll try to line it up now. A little bit like that. So we have our previous button and the next button. As I said before, we haven't styled these. That's a simple case of just messing around with the fonts and pulling up the inspector to mess around with all the colors. I won't waste your time with that right now. Let's exit this layout. You can see I'm on record one. And if we now start pressing the buttons, we can actually go through all of the records that we've got. So it kind of makes our database much more user friendly and we don't have to keep going to this menu over here. Now, the only other button I want to add for this video is a new record or a new person button. And I'm going to put that somewhere over here. So again, I'm going to go to edit layout, click on the button, drag it in. We'll call it add person, which is not really a cool name for it, but we'll stick with that. We're going to make that a single step. And in this case, we want to again, make a new record. I know the word is record. So I'm going to type that in and now I'm going to see if there's anything that says new record. And there we go. New record request. I'll press OK to that. Close that down. Go to the exit layout. And now what will happen is if I click on this, it will immediately make record number 11, take me to the library number so I can now fill out a new person. I would say that any well designed database has well designed buttons to help the user to do everything that that database needs that person to do. And every action that the person needs should be taken care of by a button somewhere in your database.